What it do, what's poppin'? Hi, my name is Ashley and I'm God's favorite child. I know that's right. I know that's right. I am God's favorite child. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much, Team Star, for coming once again to another beautiful vlog with beautiful vibes and beautiful faces and beautiful fresh air. I'm supposed to go and do some window shopping today and check some prizes because I have certain things that I need to buy for this vlog. Sister's always having casual things in her closet because girl never goes out. Okay, I'm lying. I do go out, but I barely go out, so I don't have out outing clothes. It's not even a thing. Grab your snacks, your drinks, and please genuinely do enjoy the vlog. Comment down below what you're feeling. You know, I'm actually very happy. Like, comment down below if God is also good to you, man. If God has also been good to you. Guys, first thing I'm going to look for. Um, which, <laughs> what just happened? I'm way back way. You know that I don't play. To the mall. Yeah. That's the mall. <laughs> yeah, at Vero Mall. Yeah. Which we call flea market. Yes. Some people actually like things. So this guy. Yes. Yeah. So this guy came and he's like, I want to also be in your vlog. Because I think he subscribed to my channel. And he's like, I also want to be in your vlog. And I'm like, oh, okay, sure. Why not? Yeah. One more time I go. I am about to take This one is too much. <laughs> Thank you. Follow me. Yes, I am right behind you. Know those, those are also like, hey guys, welcome to my house. Follow me. Yes. Right behind you. We're going to check our red clearance forms out. Yeah. And get them stamped. Yes. Mm. Yes. Good. Hey, I'm a big I found things, but these people wouldn't let me record. I got my nails done and I love them. Like Rejoice is so gifted. She is a talented young lady. And please go get your nails done by Rejoice. You will not be disappointed. Trust me. She understood the assignment. Like she understood the assignment. I'm a very intelligent and gifted young woman. So when people stare, I know it's a good thing. You know, I know it's a sign that there's something good that is terrible. Yeah. You know what I mean? I came here wanting one thing. I know I'm buying for free. Okay. Why? 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 Why do I trust myself?
Today we celebrate hard work, we celebrate excellence and consistent commitment. It was in the June 2021 exams that uh, Ms. Ashley Shamu managed to score the highest mark in all the scripts that we marked here in Zimbabwe in the AS literature in English. This point I will ask the president of the college, that is Rabbi Sidan, to come through. And I will also ask Mrs. Muzua, who was a literature teacher, to work with the director of Rabbi Sidan as well. And uh, this is the reply I want to believe in the healthy end. Let us welcome to the presentation. sacrificing the long hours and the after hours of lessons to help me to study better, understand my topics and all of that. So thank you to my teachers for that. I would also like to thank the school for making it possible for me to do the combination that I wanted to do. You know, it's very hard for some other students to be able to do certain things, but the school made it possible for me to do that and they provided the resources for me to be able to do what I wanted to do. First thing, I would like to encourage you guys to never give up on your dreams. No matter what the world says, no matter what anyone is going to come and say to you, never give up on your dreams. And one thing I would like to leave you guys with is set goals. Like ask yourself questions like, what do you want to see yourself in five years? Like what do you want to do? Because if you don't set goals for yourself, then you don't have any achievements because your goals determine whether you have an achievement or not. So set goals, ask yourself questions like, where do I want to be in five years? What do I want to accomplish? What do I want to achieve? 
ask yourself questions like what what exactly do i love to do because that is the basis of you being what you want to be feeling your purpose doing what you love not doing what society says is deemed acceptable to do not what people say you should do do what you love if you want to do something that zimbabwe is not known of do what you love and ask god to help you do that thing that you want to do don't limit yourself to Zimbabwe or don't limit yourself to the economy or maybe to our society and do something that is cliche like maybe you want to do astronomy but then it's like Zimbabwe doesn't really feature in that aspect but you really want to do it. You can still push yourself to do the best with what you have and maybe you can get a, you can get a scholarship to MIT or something. So yeah, I just want to encourage you guys that never give up on your dreams, set goals for yourself, set specific milestones for yourself that maybe by the end of 2023, I want to have achieved maybe five A's in my O levels, or I want to do this certain thing by the end of a certain aspect. And this doesn't also specifically relate to academics, even life in general, want something you want to do, maybe you're interested in doing comedy, or you interested in doing fitness, do that thing that you want to do and do not be afraid to stand by it. Have discipline when you're studying, have discipline when you're learning, have discipline with yourself because sometimes we can be our own enemies. We can be, we can self-sabotage ourselves by doing certain things because, oh, you know, I can do it tomorrow. You procrastinate and then you don't study. I can do it tomorrow. Then the next day goes, I can do it tomorrow again. And that is already you not having discipline. So if you want to really do well in your academics, have discipline and be able to tell yourself, if I'm meant to study for two hours today, no matter what, even if I'm going to go for a funeral, I'm still have to going to study, right? I'm still have to going to do something. I still have to read something at least for that effect. I know this might be a bit of a kind of cliche topic but it also affects the way you progress in life choosing the right circle of people around you the right circle of friends those people have an influence on whatever you're going to do so if any decision you want to make obviously you're going to go to your friends and be like ah, i feel like i want to do mpc and they're like no don't do that that's for smart people we are dumb like those certain things like choose people that are going to make you better Choose people that bring you closer to God rather than closer to sin. Choose people that elevate you, that want to see the best in you. And choose people that want you to become the best version of yourself. Because that's that right there is when you've already hit the nail spot. You've already succeeded by choosing the right people, friends. Because the day you go down, they are going to be there to lift you up. Not succumb to peer pressure. Do not, um, you do not need to have validation for certain things. You can validate yourself. You can do what you want to do. And you know, a certain wise man said, if your dreams do not scare you, then they're not big enough. So challenge yourself to do better for yourself. You know, all of us, we all, I all want to see everyone in here succeeding. I all want to see everyone here yeah, being the next president, the next CEO, the next, you know, entrepreneur, the next biggest sports star or anything like that. But if you succumb to peer pressure, Certain things you deem weird or awkward. You know, if you, you are reading, someone like, why are you reading? Let's go and play rugby. Why are you reading? Let's go and do this. Do not succumb to peer pressure, especially if you know what you want to achieve. This is why I then go back to the first point and say, know what you want to achieve. Because at the end of the day, when you're re-evaluating how your day went, if you don't know what you want to achieve, then you're not going to achieve anything for that matter because everything is going to Way you move you every wind that passes by is going to sway you and move you from any little thing any little distraction is going to catch you because you don't really know what you want to achieve you're just here to school to learn but you really don't know what grades you want to achieve you really don't know what you want to do next year for law six you really don't know what career you want to take certain things like that start to ask yourself because you're going to get to some point where you you're stuck and you don't know what to do and um one thing I also want to say is strive for progress, not perfection. Because progress is better than perfection. No one is perfect, but everyone can progress. So strive for progress and not perfection. And I'll leave you with the last thing. It always seems impossible until it's done. I, I also thought I could, I thought getting an A in A level was like, it was so hard, it was for like the geniuses, like the brain mind, the brain child of the generation. 
But then it seemed so impossible when I started reading. I thought, ah, am I really going to get that A? Like, ish. you know, with this pandemic, I was even making excuses. But then when I got the A's, I'm like, but this is, everyone is capable of doing this. This is possible. So it's impossible. It may seem impossible until it's done. So I just want to encourage you guys to work hard, be persistent, be unbothered, be determined, and never give up on what you believe in. Thank you. What's wrong with you? You should be reading. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Hey, just coming out to you. I am not the sky. Mm. The sky is mm. the limit. Yeah, you say that. Yes, um, but you don't want the sky to be the limit, right? Want more than that. Right. More, than more than that. Space is the limit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go. Guess I didn't know. It went this way. Like, comment, share. Like, comment, and share. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I've been fighting and keeping strong. Now you just gotta let me go. I vow this is going to be one of the best YouTube content you've I ever see. made. No, they know they see. They know they see. They know they see. They know they see. 
So these are some of the stuff I got. Oh yeah, and these are my nails. Rejoice, honey, you are a star. These are some of the things like these are stuff for like if you want to study day. They're busy marketing the school with their university. This is another book. Um this is like the list of all the top achievements in Zimbabwe. Um the list like the whole list. Like if, so I can literally see which schools have the most. I think it's Peter House. So Peter House or Helene, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's mostly like these. Oh, there's Liz and Kandai. Oh my gosh, I learned to these people, guys. Well done, guys. If you're watching this, you guys deserve. <laughs> you guys deserve this. So yeah, this is like a list of some of the people that got um the awards, and then these guys wrote me a letter from cambridge they wrote me a letter guys they said this is the letter they wrote me you can pause to read it if you're so keen and interested yeah it came in may 22 it came like this award came in may oh but i'm only getting it in july but it's still fine um then i got um book oh i'll be writing some notes in it it's very nice got myself a book i got some stationery sticky notes a tote bag because your guys i love tote bags then my school also gave me this <laughs> they gave me this poet guys because it was so hard um derek walker was just is one of the weirdest and hardest poets ever like man was going through some stuff guys he's going through some stuff but yeah i got this um i got this from the school along with the other things that um along with the snacks that i got in the mug then this is my official certificate guys come on come on come on honey 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 come on come on come on come on if you see my second name please don't even read <laughs> anyways bye guys thank you so much for watching this vlog i love you guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you haven't even you you know as i say as i will say congratulations just subscribe you know to the channel and say you know as a way of congratulating me you know no vibes no vibes mm -hmm.